If you want to multiply a binomial times a binomial, something that may be familiar to you is FOIL, where you do first, outer, inner, last. But let's look to see where does that come from. It's really the distributive property. If we take 2 square root of 6 and I multiply it to the root 2 and then I multiply it to the negative 7, we would be distributing this front one through. And then we take the number negative 3 and we distribute it through this guy. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I take two roots of six times root two, I have two, and then root six times root two is root 12, because we're multiplying what's underneath the root. Okay, then I'm gonna take this two root of six and distribute it. So a positive times a negative is negative, and two times root six times seven, two times seven is 14. So we have 14 root six. Multiply num like the numbers in front together, multiplying the roots together. Okay, then let's distribute it, this negative three. <clears throat> negative three times the square root of two. Negative times positive is negative. And three multiplied by root two is three root two. Okay, then finally, the negative three distributed to this one, negative times negative is positive, and three times seven is 21. In this first example, it's pretty basic. I didn't have any like terms at the end. Two roots of 12 minus 14 roots of six minus three roots of two plus 21, none of them are alike, so it's done. But instead of distributing the first term through and the second term through, if we do FOIL, if we multiply the ones in the front, which is two root sixes in the front and root two is in the front. So two square root of six multiplied by the square root of two, we'll have two and then root six times root two is root 12. So we're gonna end up with two root 12. Okay, then I multiply the ones on the outside and two root six and negative seven are on the outside. So multiplying these ones together, a positive times a negative is a negative. Two times seven is 14 times root six. So we have 14 root six. Okay, on to the inside. These ones are on the inside. So negative three times the square root of two. Negative times positive is negative and three times root two is three roots of two. And then finally, last, this one is sitting on the end and this one is sitting on the end, so these are last. Negative times negative is positive and three times seven is 21. Now, make a comparison between our answers. See how they're exactly the same? So FOIL is coming from the distributive property. Um, I prefer I don't know, I think it just depends on the context. But however you would like to multiply this one together, this one has a little bit more simplifying involved. I'm gonna go ahead and state it like we're doing FOIL, but distributive is the same thing. So four roots of six times nine roots of five, those are in the front. So four times nine is 36, and square root of six times square root of five is square root of 30. Okay, then we're gonna multiply the ones on the outside. So this one and this one are on the outside. So four times two is eight, and root six times root six is square root of 36. So I have plus eight root 36. Then multiply the ones on the inside. These ones are on the inside. So two times nine is 18, and root five times root five is the square root of 25. And then finally multiplying the ones that are last, this one is on the end and this one is on the end. So two times two is four and root five times root six is the square root of 30. Okay, from here, um, I could attack this a few different ways, but I'm gonna go ahead and just underline this one and this one. These two are like terms, so we wanna put those together if I have 36 roots of 30 plus four more roots of 30, I have a total of 
40 roots of 30. Then this one here, the square root of 36, 36 is a perfect square. Six times six is 36. So the square root of 36 is gonna become the number six. Similarly here, 25 is a perfect square. The square root of 25 is five. So that's gonna become five. So I have eight multiplied by six plus 18 multiplied by five. I'm gonna bring down the 40 root 30. I cannot simplify that because 30 is 10 times three and the 10 is two times five. So if this is two times three times five, you need two of a kind to take something out and we don't have two of a kind. So this root is simplified. So I'm gonna bring that down. Six times eight is 48 and 18 times five is 90. Now what we have that are like terms, I've got the 48 and I'll make that purple just randomly. Okay, and then the 90. So these ones are alike, so I can go ahead and add 48 and 90, which makes 138. And then I'll bring down the 40 roots of 30. These are not like terms, so it's finished.